Mother 3 was conceived during a stressful period before Earthbound's launch. Series creator Shigesato Atoy believed that most RPGs were structured like road trip movies, and wanted to switch up the formula and set a game in a single town that changes over time. Atoy's first idea for a protagonist was a detective who'd solve crimes while living above a supermarket. The character would attempt to solve a murder, but could only progress by building relationships with the townspeople. Because of this, Atoy prized minor details. For example, a woman hanging out washing would be seen wearing clean clothes the next day. Shigeru Miyamoto compared the concept to that of Majora's Mask, which used a similar mechanic. Satoru Iwata, producer of the Mother 3 project, hinted that Atoy's pitch may have influenced Animal Crossing, which he described as the realization of Atoy's idea. Mother 3 was originally planned for the Super Nintendo, but soon changed course, becoming a 3D Nintendo 64 disk drive game. Several screenshots from this time featured a playable character who looked like Ness, the protagonist of Earthbound, suggesting the game was to have stronger ties with the rest of the Mother series. The rewritable nature of the 64DD software led Miyamoto to consider letting players transfer their art from the Japan-only Mario artist into Mother 3. A toy immediately shot this idea down, as he didn't want to include features just to show off the console's capabilities. After the commercial failure of the 64DD, the game changed course again, aiming for release on the Nintendo 64. Due to the Earthbound team's inexperience with 3D technology, a brand new team was brought in to develop Mother 3. But this team was unfamiliar with the series, and Iwata would often have to give them advice on how to construct gameplay scenarios. Things were made even more difficult by Iwata's absence during development, as he had other commitments in America and Kyoto. The scope of the game was also too large for the team due to the complex interplay between the world and the characters. Some elements were unfeasible with the Nintendo 64's hardware, but the team stubbornly pursued them, inspired by Iwata's words of encouragement. Never say a programmer can't do something. After three console changes and six years in development, Mother 3 was cancelled in August of 2000. In an interview with a toy, Miyamoto and Iwata estimated the game was anywhere between 30 to 60 percent complete when it was cancelled. It was in this same interview that a toy mentioned the possibility of restarting the project on the Game Boy Advance. Producers discouraged him, saying it would be just as much work to make a GBA game as an N64 game. Nevertheless, the project was restarted in 2003 for the Game Boy Advance. A compilation game called Mother 1 Plus 2 was also released as a refresher for the franchise, and a commercial for the game ended with the message confirming Mother 3 was back in development. The toy did not regret downsizing the game. He felt the final product reflected his vision and was happy they didn't go with the 3D look, as pixel art went hand in hand with the series. Wood and metal were meshed together in Mother 3's logo to reflect the game's themes of inclusiveness. Another reason was to create an uneasy juxtaposition between the natural world and the modern world, a key theme in the game. He would also reflect the game's chimera enemies, which are separate creatures combined into one. A toy compared these creatures to Sid's toys in Toy Story, who were spliced together from different parts. In fact, while the game was in development for the 64DD, a toy considered using Chimera Forest as a subtitle. This was not used in the final release, as the team didn't want to influence how players imagined the world before they played the game. The Majipsy character was created in response to what a toy referred to as the more macho story in Mother 3, which is focused on conflict. The Majipsies, who find themselves in the middle of the conflict, are androgynous and have accepted that they will eventually die. By blending masculine and feminine traits and a refusal of power, the Majipsies balance out the more masculine nature of the story. The Majipsies fit perfectly with the toy's perception of Mother as a more feminine RPG franchise. When one of the Majipsies begins to disappear, they say a phrase which roughly translates to, I'm disappearing for a bit. I'm okay, though. This is a reference to the official slogan a toy wrote for the 1989 film Kiki's Delivery Service, which roughly translates to, I was depressed for a while. I'm okay now. The team joked that they would have refused the reference were it not written by a toy himself. The character Duster also has interesting inspirations, and was given a limp because of the game's theme of inclusivity. A toy reasoned that handicapped people should be as much a part of the world of Mother 3 as they are a part of ours. In Mother 3, the player saves by talking to save frogs, in contrast with past games in the series where players called their father. This was a decision made with some hesitance, as the team were worried that fans wouldn't like the change. Frogs were specifically chosen because of their peculiar nature. A toy thought that an animal like a dog wouldn't stand out enough to seem important. The decision was also influenced by the song Furu Makeba Kaeru, which translates roughly to, if you turn around, frog. The song was written by a toy and performed by the Japanese pop singer Akiko Yano. The lyrics portray an optimistic frog who, in spite of its own trivial nature, encourages people not to be dejected by their failure. 
In a similar vein, the game's save frogs are seen after the player dies. There's an incognito Mr. Saturn in the game who, after bidding the player farewell, is revealed to have walked just slightly off screen. This was originally just a bug, but was kept in the game as the toy found it funny. The area Tane Tane Island was also inspired by American TV series like Lost and Twin Peaks. However, these areas had to be toned down because the toy was made so uneasy by his initial draft. Mother 3's soundtrack was composed by Shogo Sakai after the composers of the first two games were unavailable due to other commitments. The length of Mother 3's soundtrack, which is comprised of 250 songs across six hours of music, needed a composer who could devote their full attention to the project. The composer was also required to be familiar with the game and its themes. Sakai was an obvious choice due to his enthusiasm for the material. The game's main theme, called The Love Theme, was composed very late in development, and didn't even exist in December 2005, four months before the game's release. The Pig Mask Army's theme was to be used in its place up until that point. The team decided that a new theme should be composed because of an unspecified scene of extreme importance, which required a greater emotional impact than the planned composition could provide. Eight Melodies from Earthbound Beginnings became a popular song in Japan, even appearing in elementary school textbooks. As a result, a toy imagined a beginner being able to easily play Mother 3's love theme on piano. To achieve this, he specified that the theme should be easy to both hum and play on piano using only a single finger. Sakai was evidently prepared for such an order, as despite the late request in a toy's stipulation, he was able to produce the love theme almost immediately. The sample that plays during both of the game's name selection screens is actually taken from a toy himself. It was recorded without his knowledge by Earthbound composer Hirokazu Tanaka. According to a toy, Tanaka tricked him into saying the phrase, and recorded it with a hidden tape recorder. There are many nods and references to other compositions in Mother 3's soundtrack. The music that plays during Leader's story is called Leader's Gymniopede. The song is not an original composition, but is actually an adaptation of Gymniopede No. 1 by Eric Satie. Additionally, the song Ode to Ancestors, Eighth Movement, is a medley of classical musical pieces, including pieces from Beethoven, Bach, and George Frederick Handel. The intro to Mr. Batty Twist is a reference to the iconic theme music from the 1960s Batman television series. Sixteen Melodies, as the name suggests, contains the melodies from both renditions of eight melodies from Earthbound Beginnings and Earthbound, respectively. The love theme from Mother 3 is also incorporated into the song. Various themes in the game also include the distinctive sliding synth sample featured in Earthbound. And while not a composition, the enemy called Gently Weeping Guitar continues the Mother series' tradition of Beatles references, this time to their song While My Guitar Gently Weeps. As expected from its long development cycle, content was cut from Mother 3. It seems that the player was planned to fight the Green Dragos at some point during the game. In the fight, the Drago refuses to attack the player, instead confiding in you and making you cry. This may suggest that the battle was to have a tragic tone, with the player being forced to fight the Drago against both of their wills. It seems that this battle was also related to the frozen Drago in the Chimera Lab, as the Drago drops the Chimera Lab map once defeated. Many of the bosses have unused battle sprites showing them from behind. In the final game, bosses cannot be approached from behind, meaning that it's impossible to see these sprites. There are also unused animations for the masked man, showing him exploding, levitating, firing his arm cannon, and being repaired. Although the Mother series has a cult following in the West, Mother 3 has yet to be officially released outside of Japan. It was, however, unofficially translated by Clyde Tomato Mandolin, a professional games translator who has unofficially translated many Japan-only games such as Bahamut Lagoon and Star Ocean. The translation quickly passed 100,000 downloads upon its release, and Mandolin stresses the translation was done out of love rather than to compete with Nintendo. Despite its lack of a Western release, the game was re-released on the Japanese Virtual Console in December of 2015. Rumors arose in February 2016 that the Virtual Console port of Mother 3 would finally be released to Western audiences. The rumors surfaced in the wake of both the Japanese port of Mother 3 and the release of Earthbound Beginnings in 2015, 26 years after the game's release on the Famicom. It has to be noted, however, that while Earthbound Beginnings ROM was completed but never released, no official translation effort has ever been known to exist for Mother 3. As a result, porting Mother 3 to a Western platform would take significantly more work than Earthbound Beginnings did. Shigesato Atoy has denied rumors that Mother 4 is in development, 
Atoy was inspired to create the series by his young daughter, whom he was unable to see as often as he would have liked due to divorce issues. Now that his daughter has grown up, he feels no more reason to continue creating mother games. Atoy also compared his experience to that of a pop star who, as a professional, is forced to keep making albums even if they've run out of ideas. Atoy said he was relieved making games was not his job. If it were, he would have to keep making sequels for more cynical reasons. Atoy comically said, Doing things like that for fun has ended for me. If I were to try to do it now, it would be something I'd had to force. That would be awful for my sphincter. Did you also know that the Great Plateau Tower stage in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate features Sheikah text that translates to Smash Bros? For more facts, watch our video on Super Smash Bros. Secrets. And if you want more Nintendo videos, check out Madness where we try to decide what are the best Nintendo 64 games.